Yo, here's my reasons why I stopped watching Mr. Beast on YouTube and unsubscribe from this weirdo's channel. All right, so if y'all see this person right here, this is Chris Tyson. Chris Tyson is someone who is a longtime member of the Mr. Beast team and has recently or reportedly left his channel. So the reason why Chris has left the channel is because there has been allegations of him possibly messing with a 14 year old. And before I show these receipts, I want to throw out that Mr. Beast has not made a statement about this, which is very concerning. And that is the reason why I can no longer watch his channel. I also wanted to throw out the fact that this guy, Chris, is a racist and has used the N-word multiple times on Mr. Beast streams. But before I get deep into this video, let me give y'all background about this guy, Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson, whatever his name is. But before he transitioned into Ava, this is Chris right here. And this is Chris' baby, his wife or whatever. They reportedly got a divorce um, as he was making a transition and became a woman. Disclaimer, I don't have nothing against the LGBT community or any other community, but this is Chris right here after he made his transition and clearly Mr. B supported it. But my only problem with the situation is that this weirdo tried to mess with minors a few times and there's receipts, so I'm gonna post that. Check this out. This is from Snapchat. That's Chris up there on the white before transitioning with the blue and white scarf. Weirdo, man. That's Chris. As y'all can see, Chris is messaging a 14 year old at the time. Uh, that guy is now 20, I believe, but he's saying this is allegedly, so I don't know. This is pretty weird to me. Tell me what y'all think. Hey, you know they got your man's. They got your man's on sex assault charges. Yeah, the nigga you... Don't ask me about this video right here. I don't know how real it is, but someone said this was a video that Mr. Beast put out a while ago. I locked 100 kids in the room with my best friend. There's another video about, I guess, it's saying my trans friend on the island with kids for 24 hours or whatever. I don't know. But my concern is, it's a lot of content creators out there who have not spoke about this. It's very concerning. And the thing is, we all know Mr. Beast, if you're a YouTuber in that community, he is one, probably the biggest YouTuber with the most subscribers, the most views. But YouTube isn't really putting this out there because this is probably one of their most biggest assets and you know biggest youtuber or whatever so they don't want the world to know much about it and that's just a bit confusing because a lot of kids watch his channel and he says he promotes everything as far as positivity and stuff with the kids but you also have people like chris on there who just has weird behavior now there has been a few people in the stream world who have spoke about it like Sneeko, um, you had Kai Sinek, uh, shout out to Tate. <sighs> Check this out. That's weirdo, 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 weirdo. Yes, yes, weirdo. Yes, Chris from Mr. Beast, bro. It's fucked up. It's weird. It's weird, bro. It's weird. weird. It's weird. I don't care. That shit is weird, bro. Everybody wants to see what I have to say and shit. It's weird. Should that be it? it like, none of that shit. What a video? Let me, get a, let me see the tweet, bruh. Whatever, the tweet, the video, I just heard it on some blogs and shit. 
I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Shout outs to Kai for using this platform to speak on this, but I can't cap. I'm a little disappointed in his response because I felt like he could have said a little more. Not because, you know, he works with him or whatnot, but he recently worked with him and Mr. Beast has given him money or whatever to help fund whatever he was doing. I just felt like he could have said more. But anyway, this tweet right here is what Chris posted, I think, in 2016. And he's speaking on Loli, Loli. I don't know, somebody correct me, I don't know how to say it, but that is anime corn. I'm gonna replace the P word with C word, but this corn um, portrays female characters as being children or babies. And I just felt like it was a little weird that your boy Chris posted this. And you know what? The weird thing about this situation is Mr. Beast, nobody really knows his real name. I believe it's Jimmy or whatnot, but I don't know. Somebody can comment, whatever it is. However, what I'm about to show y'all is, is his workers, one of them, Dawson and Chandler. I don't think Chandler works for him anymore, but Dawson is going to show and prove that he's a worker with showing his NDAs and He's saying that this is just the tip of the iceberg, that it gets worse from here. So y'all check this out. Hold on, let me turn off the music. I'm outside Dang. Mr. B's studio right now. Here's a cornfield. I'll explain that tomorrow. Um, I've just been driving by looking uh, to, to see, you know, is there an FBI raid going on? What's happening? My name is Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. Recently, the Lord has put it on my heart to start this sharing, you know, some of the things that I've learned and just share the word. And I'm going to start doing daily verses. Today's reading is from Matthew chapter 18, verse yeah, 8. this and man reading the Bible. Damn. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or he two feet. You definitely don't work for beast no more. Fire. Amen. And if your eyes causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with Follow one me eye for more. than with two.